Hi everyone, the topic that I will discuss is about writing the research paper and revising the paper. First is writing the research paper. Have, having prepared a topic sentence or outline, um, it says that your slogan writing should be formed from notes to outline to draft. It should be notes, outline, and draft. And keeping the thesis statement clearly in your mind will help you to write the first draft. Okay, next is tips in writing the first draft. First is your paper should be have this tripod of organized ideas. First is introduction, which contain your thesis, thesis statement, the body, which consists of paragraphs and conclusions. It is a generalized statement right after a short, a very short summary of your main points. Second is expand your outline. Expand your outline section by section so it becomes the body of your paragraph. Then utilize your notes and your outline to stimulate your own thoughts and ideas. Fourth is your notes complemented by your own thoughts and ideas constitute an ideal research paper. The next is revising the revising the research paper. Uh, first is evaluate the methods of paragraph development which you have used to expand your ideas. Uh, you know, it, uh, to, to be effective for revising your paper, it should have these three things. Second is review for unity, coherence, and emphasis. Unity, a coherence, is a semantic relationship between different parts of the same text. For the, it is the, the, the coherence is review for the words on the paragraphs. The unity is the oneness of the words and paragraph. And the emphasis is the the intensity or giving importance to the topic or the to the draft. And next is correct grammar lapses and mechanical errors. For example, in errors in capitalization, punctuations, and spelling. That's all. Thank you. So actually, um, I'm going to report about the typing and computerizing the final draft. So why is it important in thesis writing or research writing? So typing and computerizing the final draft is very important because um, um, this will give us the formality of the research that we are making. So mahirap naman kapag gumawa tayo ng research or thesis na super gulo ng pagkakagawa. So this is very important. So, typing and computerizing. Use only one side of the white bond paper. So, for example, diba, we have two sides for the bond paper. The front and the back part. So, we only use the front page of, or the front part of the page. So, margins and spacing of typing and computerizing the final draft. So, the top, bottom, and right side margins are all one inch. But the left side margin is one and a half inch. So the reason why we have one and a half inch is to give space for the, um, for the, to call this, when we hard bound already the research or the thesis. So we can allot the space. So another is the top margins of the first pages of the outline, the text, and the work cited. And we allot 2 inches for that. So, another is the quadruple space below the title and the thesis statement of the outline. So, this only applies on the first pages, which is the title and the thesis statement. So, double space for the entire text. So, long quotations, items, and ideas in the outline and between entries in the list of the work cited. So for um we we allot double space for the entire text of long quotations. For example, we use um a certain um quotation from a famous uh, writer or a famous personality for that certain topic that we are having that research. Um therefore we give double space for that text. So five space indention for paragraphs. So if um, we only have intentions if it is observed. So another is the 10 space, 
10 spaces for the long petitions. Okay. So, the next topic that we are going to tackle is the title page, the page numbering, and then the proofreading. So, for the title page, we have some certain um, details that we have to put on that. Um, so, on the front um, pages of the research paper or the thesis is the title page. And this is centered on the page. Um, the first um, detail that we have to put is the title of your paper. So, of course, um, for formality, there is no underline or quotation marks. And then another is, under that, you put your name. After that, you put the code and description of the course. And then you also have to include the name of the instructor teaching you regarding that research or thesis. So, for example, um, for us, we put um, Professor Christopher Manuel on that. And then for the... Uh, masteral, they put their professors on that as well. So, on the last part, you also include the date that the paper is due. So, for example, we are going to start our research now, um, this August, and then our due is on our February, February 2015. So, on or below, below that um, page, on the title page, we put the date February. So we, un we, in we also include the word by two spaces above our name so that um, the reader of this research or thesis will know who are the researchers. So another is the page numbering. So um, we put the title, I mean, we put the numbering for the thesis or research writing because we have to um, know um, the certain, oh, what do you call this? Um, the, uh, we will know when to follow that. So... First, um, there are certain rules in the page numbering. So there are some certain pa certain pages that we do not have to put the page number. However, this page is already included. For example, in a book, we have to put, for example, this one. For example, this one. In this book, we already have the first page, the second page, the third page. So technically, we already skipped three pages, with, which could already include first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth in the page numbering. However, just like in the research writing, we skip the title page, the outline, and the first page. However, this is already included in the paper, in the page numbering. So another is put page numbers on page two and the subsequent pages. So, um, as you can see, um, put page numbers on page 2 and sub subsequent pages. We only put the page numbering starting from page 2. So we consider the third page the first page. So it should be in line with right margin. It's, for example, this is the bond paper. It is, um, it is included in the right hand corner. Half inch from top of the paper so we put the um we put the indention one inch and then the page number will be half inch so another the last one for my report is the proofreading so why is it very critical to have proofreading in a research or thesis writing it is important to have proofreading because um, we will know the grammatical errors for our research 
because of course even if um we are uh very informed in our topic that we are tackling that we are researching it is very important that the readers will also understand will fully understand what we are talking about so it is it is very important and significant to have someone to check our research so for proofreading it is the correcting all typographical errors otherwise they'll become spelling errors so do you think if we don't proofread our research um the reader will understand what we say or should i say if we don't proofread our research do you think it will be legitimate of course not because proofreading is really part of the research or thesis writing so it should also observe paper research paper layout so that's all thank you very much for listening to me Hi sir, hi classmate. My report is about MLA stat. What is MLA? MLA is a modern language association. It is a reference to use in subject areas for the humanities. Uh, it provides extensive guidelines on how to formulate a topic, format a research paper, cite parenthetical text, and compile a list of works cited in English as well as other foreign languages. Um, other useful capabilities include documenting online resources, writing code from an email, receive, and incorporating abbreviation in your list of reference. Play documentation. There are three basic styles of references. First is author date. Second is bibliography. Third is notes in the form of end notes and footnotes. Uh, MLA style use the bi bibliography style with text place parentheses in author page format. MLA style offers a reminder of this correspondence by placing the reference list under the heading work cited. References are composed of elements. These are author, title, public, publication information, internet access. Uh, each element is followed by a period. Authors is the work cited organized alphabetically by author. Therefore, the author name goes last name first. Then, all other names follow in their normal order following convention usage the conjunction and punctuation then there are two types of styles tiles part parts and vol volume the title part is the title parts of the works are capitalized and placed in quotes while the titles volume titles of titles of books or the name of the journal are capitalized and underlined or placed in italics. There's two types of publication information. First is books and second is periodicals. Publication information books introduce the publisher of a standalone volume by first giving the place of publication. Then the name of the publisher followed by the year. While the publication information periodicals no publisher is given for jo journals and other periodical the title or name of the journal is sufficient this followed by publication information in the form of volumes date then internet access the date is accessed followed by the U url url means uniform resources locator there are five rules in, in modern language association first is full dates 
use international format. The format is day, month, year. Example, 14 September 2013. Example. Then the second is headings, caps. Uh, headings, cap. Each word in title is cap capitaliz capitalization. E except for articles. Example, a uh, and the. Well, the preposition is. Example is to, in, against, between. Well, in conjunction is and, for, nor, but, or, so, yet. Then, capitalization is used for headings and subheadings in many styles and traditional in newspaper where the term originated. Third is punctuation. Elements are always followed by the period. Underline or the fourth is underline or italics. Ito yung ano, volume, title, and journal name have traditionally been underlined in modern language association style. But italics are perfect, 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 perfectly acceptable. Then, fifth is volume number. Journal are published in volumes. Most journal, journal page consecutively through the volume each new issue picking up where the last left off but may do not. I have example for block format. This one. Books, chapter, journal, newspaper, paper. So book is first is author first middle then the title of the book or volume that's all and then the chapter is author first middle and first middle mm -hmm. co-author the title of the chapter well the, in the journal is author first middle first middle of co-author and second middle second middle of co-author the title of the journal article well, in the newspaper is author, first middle, title of the newspaper ar article. Well, in the paper is writer, first middle, the title of paper of dissertation. Well, I have also example format of modern language format, this one. And, um,
at the bibliography cards of the works used for aesthetical. Group them according to types of reading material, example, books, periodicals, internet, and unpublished materials. Third, uh, alphabetize them according to the first word, example, the author's Each new unit with a capital. 